Well, we're warming up for Wednesday's workout. Lindy Galt is here with a couple of ideas to get us ready and get us all stretched and limber for our yes. workout. That's right. So the benefits of stretching, the tell us. The benefits are... I, there's so many I couldn't even cover Endless. them all. Yes, <laughs> but some of the main ones are that it increases the range of motion of your muscles and joints. It lengthens the muscles and those things can help with um, recovery. They can help with performance um, in your workouts. A lot of times people are struggling and uh, just some stretching would really help them. And this is really important too for folks who might not be uh, as able to get to a gym or might not be as mobile. Yes. That kind of stretching is that functional fitness. Yes, That's very absolutely. Important, and right? stretching can be done anywhere. You don't need a gym to stretch. You can do it in your living room you know it, it, it's easy to do but it's something that a lot of people neglect and that's really really important and they it also helps really with preventing injuries and keeps your body protected I actually suffered from sciatica a few years ago and I realized that it was because I was not stretching enough and oh, wow. since I've started stretching it's changed some of my workouts and I don't have the pain anymore Wow yeah so my good question later is gonna be what is sciatica but we'll <laughs> okay. save that one okay so we've got some do's so, and don'ts uh, yes well I have a couple of stretches to show you oh, okay. Okay. okay so one of the most common ones that you see people doing is just like a, a easy quad stretch. The foot comes up, people are doing this, right? It requires right? me to balance. It does okay. require you to balance a little. Okay, so the thing that I tell people is make sure, first of all, that your knees are lined up with one another. Thanks so much for that. Not Hold our on knees. To each we other don't have if to. You need to. Right. Don't right. take each other down. Knees okay. should be lined up with one another, and then squeeze your glutes together. And your knee should naturally kind of come forward as you tighten your glutes. Mm -hmm. So now lift your foot up and try to bring your knee back in place. Do you feel that stretch deeper now? Oh, I sure do. Wow. Well, so it Goodbye. comes up through the quad and the hip flexor when you do that. A lot of people will just do this and kind of go through the motions. They're just holding. Really, all I'm doing right now is holding my foot in place. I'm not right. actually stretching right. a muscle right now. So mm -hmm. by squeezing the glutes and then lifting the foot up, you're getting deep into the muscle and it's coming in the hip flexor. Don't get, don't hurt yourself. You that? I hurt myself stretching. That's not a good sign. So a a couple of tips though are to hold a stretch for a while. Just gradually increase the intensity. Exhale as you're trying to deepen the stretch. Do not bounce and pulse through stretches. Oh, None okay. of that like bouncy <laughs> stuff. Don't do that. Well, and you brought up a good point too that if we have to support one another or if you're grabbing the post yes. on the bed or something, that's okay because yes. the important part is to get those muscles. Yes, you lined. can lean against a wall or something okay. like that. Okay. Another great stretch, this one I love because I tend to carry a lot of tension in my upper back. A lot of us do stress if you're sitting all day at your at your job at the computer, yeah. yeah. Um, is it comes from eagle pose in yoga, but we're not going to do the leg portion with the balancing because I didn't want it to get a little too tricky. So I, I want you guys to open your arms out nice and wide. So open your chest. Now cross your right arm over your left, right elbow over left. Then bend the arms and try to kind of intertwine your hands. And you might not be able to completely <laughs> twist them. Bring your arms a little <laughs> more. Unequal. Yeah, like that. <laughs> So you're stretching across here. Now you're going to lift your elbows up and away from you. Ooh. Do you feel that? Why? Yeah, I do. So it would be oh. here, and then you would press up and away through your elbows. It's a huge stretch between your shoulder blades. It really helps to relieve tension in the upper back. Okay, so one more time. It's coming across like this, because this is one anyone can do. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Elbow over elbow. Okay. Then bend your arms, and then you're kind of wrapping your hands toward one another. Okay. So okay. from the side, it's this way. Looks like that. Then you're pressing your elbows up and away from you, so kind of up and out. You oh. want your elbows to be a little more in. Now press up and out, and you should feel a good stretch up here. Yeah. Tell me you Feel I feel, but I feel like I can't breathe, okay, though, you. too. Uh, you should be breathing through yeah. your stretches, for sure. Okay, one more. We That's got another really minute. Got another one? Okay. So this one's called Pigeon Pose. I'm not going to make you guys come down because it might be a little too tricky. But you would be down on a mat, and you tuck one foot underneath, and the other leg extends behind you. Mm -hmm. So now the main point of this one, though, is that hips need to be squared off to the floor, both hips. So this hip is pointing to the floor, and this bottom side of the hip is pointing to the floor. Okay. This really opens your hip flexors and your glutes, and a lot of people have really tight hip flexors and piriformis that's sure. deep into mm -hmm. the glute. Um, and so that really helps with that as well. And it would just be easing into that. You can lay all the way down on the floor and reach your arms out. You could even pick the back foot up and bring it in towards you. Well, we're almost out of time, but yeah. I want to ask, is there a certain set of muscles we should be targeting when we do these kinds of stretches? What are the most important ones to do? The larger muscle groups are the ones that we target most often, but we definitely need to target the smaller muscle groups just because they don't get as much attention. So really, it's it's almost everything. But the areas where you feel tightest are where you should focus, and that generally tends to be hamstrings, hips, upper back for most people. And don't do it when you're cold. 
Well, I, I mean, you you need to warm up a little before you stretch. Don't stretch cold muscles. Okay. Don't, you know, you don't want to just go right in and, and start stretching. It should be at the end of your workout when your muscles are more pliable. All right, lots of good advice and tips here from our fitness coach, and Lindy Gold. Go slow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. All right, if you like to see these tips again, you can go to stayliving.tv. She's going to stick around and answer some of your good questions coming up in a little bit. But next, dinner and a movie is around the corner. Chuck Kaplinski is here with the dish on Evil Dead and the host. Plus, Jenny Goulis is back putting the finishing touches on stuffed mushrooms. You know what would really help me? A massage. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, look at those muscles. Okay, that's, we'll be right.